The second to last game of the PPL season is here and we're taking on Jack aka Gravy. Because of the way standings are right now, this game might decide whether me or Jack make playoffs. Jack has a very cool team that I do like the look of so this matchup is a little bit tough. However, he doesn't have much counterplay for our Dragon Dance Salamence, who is definitely our win condition supported by dual screens on Rotom Heat. If you want to see the full team, I will leave a pokey pace down in the description below. Now, let's hope Salamence can make up for last week and carry us into playoffs. All right, we're here with week eight of the PPL and uh, oh my God, there's a Lapras and an Amorous. There's no Iron Crown. This is not what I prepared for at all, at all Jack. And this guy already chose his lead. He's standing by like, I'm... Um, Okay, well, our lead is going to be Rotom because uh, we have screens on Rotom and we can like Volt Switch on things and stuff. So that's going to be pretty nice. I've just noticed that I didn't change Light Clay onto Rotom and I'm still Citrus Berry. That might suck a little bit. This is not off to a fantastic start, guys, but you know what? It's do or die. We can't lose another game. So we're just going to lock the fuck in. We're going to win. And if there's any time I need to get lucky is right now. All right, let's see what is Jack's lead of choice. Ride in Squirty. So it's the Lapras. Okay. The it, 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 It's very possible he just goes out into Great Tusk, but I have a decent pivot into Great Tusk, I think. So I kind of just want to go for a Volt Switch. I feel like it's a pretty safe click here. I don't want to go for a Light Screen because I don't know if this thing's going to be physical, if it's going to be special, if it's going to have a water move, if it's not. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but I, I'm just going to go ahead and click Volt Switch. So let's see. So this thing is going to tear. All right, so we're going to see a turn one tear. Fuck, is it going to be Fairy? Is this going to be Terra Fairy to just deal with my Keldeo? Let's see. Yep, it is Terra Fairy. Okay. Um, how much is Volt Switch going to do? How much is Volt Switch going to do? It should do about like 25-ish percent. 25-ish. That did nothing. That did less than 25. That's probably Assault Vested. Honestly, that's probably Assault Vested. We might see a water move come out here. My only real pivot is Yuxi, so that's what we're going to go out into. At least the Zarude isn't going to Terra, so that's something, I guess. Let's see what they click. Uh, they just click Sparkling Aria. Okay, so let's see how much this does. That did a lot more than I wanted it to. Oh my god, that did a lot more than I wanted it to. Do I want to get Rock Sub? Getting Rock Sub probably means nothing just because Great Tusk can come in and reliably spin them away. It might not be in front of me, but... Oh, shit. This is... I don't have a great water switch in. I could... What I could do is I could Encore. I could Encore, and then I can U-turn and position myself a little better. Rocks could be good, but I'm going to Encore. I'm going to Encore into a water move. Okay, so he's going to switch out. I could have gotten my rocks up. Is it just Zarude? If it's Zarude, that could be quite bad, but I was... Poizame, what's this? It's just the Salazzle. Okay. Um, Salazzle, Salazzle. Kind of just want to go ahead and click Psychic onto this. Um, I do kind of, what if it's, uh, it's not going to be weakness policy. There's no way it's going to be weakness policy. I do feel like I kind of just want to go ahead and click Psychic. So you know what? I'll just go ahead and click Psychic. Let's see what it decides to click. It decides to click Encore. So it's trying to Encore me into Encore. But that's not how it works. Okay. Um, nice, I guess. How much does it do? Okay, 75%. Yeah, 75%. Okay, so apparently that's not how it works. So I am going to go for another Psychic. If they Encore me into Psychic and they try to go to Zarude next turn, I'm just going to go into Rotom. Don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. So you know what? I'll just go ahead and click Psychic again. They're just going to Sludge Bomb. Okay, and they end up being Life Orbed. Okay. They end up being Life Orbed. So this thing dies, which is nice. So Salazzle's dead. Now the problem is I don't have a great uh, Tusk Pivot because... Uh, everything is, the like, Yuxi is weak, weakened, very weakened, but that might not be the end of the world. We got rid of Salazzle for Yuxi. Uh, whip me data, yeah, that's the Zarude. That's the freaking Zarude. Now, just out of curiosity, because you cannot tear him, do I live a knockoff? I am Culberberry. Not knockoff. Um, 252. Knockoff does, I actually do live a knockoff. You know what? I actually do live a knockoff. So low key, I'm going to U-turn because I do live a knockoff. Because unless he's adamant, uh, the max roll is 121. Power whip. Okay. He, he he went for the power whip and he landed. So this is where I kind of wanted to uh, like dodge. This is kind of where I wanted to dodge. I think I can go meow because this thing, even if it's scarfed, then obviously power whip is not going to do that much. I don't want to go uh, Salamence yet. 
I don't want to go Salamence yet because I feel like it might be a little too early to start going for like sweeping games, especially because Lapras is there. Lapras is definitely going to have Ice Shard. Lapras is definitely going to have Ice Shard, but that's the end game we are trying to work towards. That's the end game we're trying to work towards. Uh, we can click U-turn here. It's a pretty free click. Uh, if they go Enamorous, then it's most likely going to be like Helmet, but if they go Enamorous, we can go um, Iron Treads and we can like click uh, Iron Head or something. So they are going to switch out. Okay. Probably Enam. Great Tussie. Is this thing... This thing might be Rocky Helmet then. If he's switching in hard on a U-turn, then this thing might end up being Rocky Helmet. We're protective pads, obviously, so... We won't know for sure, but he... If he's Helmet, then he knows what I am, so... He knows what I am. I guess the play is just to go Keldeo. The play is 100% just to go Keldeo. Now, I do have a decision to make if I want to call Mind or... If I just want to go for a secret sword. Part of me just does kind of want to call mind, honestly. Because if Bolt comes in, I can sub on it. If Bolt comes in, I'm expecting the Lapras to come in. Like, like we're we're not bringing we're not bringing a Lapras into a Keldeo matchup to like tear it into a fairy type and then not have it be the Keldeo switch in. So that's kind of what I am expecting. But you know what? We're going to click Secret Sword. I'm just going to click Secret Sword. We'll see what his pivot is. If it's Raging Bolt or if it's the Lapras. It's most certainly going to be the Lapras. It's most certainly going to be the Lapras. Yeah, Riding Squirty. This is where maybe getting Rocks Up would have been good. But how much does this do? That's doing about, like, what? 15%. So that's obviously not great either. Uh, I could expect the Fairy move to come out here. I can expect the Fairy move to come out here. I don't think the play is going to be stay in here because I'm not I'm just not doing enough damage. If I could if I could do enough damage, then I would 100 percent do it. But I think at this point I have to take a bit of a risk and I have to go into I have to go out into our iron treads, I think. Uh there's a hundred percent of fairy move coming out here. There's a hundred percent of fairy move coming out here. Either that or like freeze dry, but iron treads can take either because I am very assault vested. So let's see. He just does go for the sparkling aria. Okay, that's gonna do a decent chunk. Yeah, that brings me down to 120, which is a lot, but I can... Do I think he stays in? Do I think he just goes Iron Tusk, Iron Tusk, Iron Treads right now? Yeah, this this Lapras is going to be annoying. Kind of had a feeling if it showed up, it was going to be annoying, but I didn't face it in any mock whatsoever, so... I think his Great Tusk is going to be, like, physically defensive, so I'm going to go and... I'm going to go ahead and click Earthquake. Yeah, I'm expecting the Great Tusk to come out here. And if we can do, like, a, a clean, like, 30% to Great Tusk, then that might put him in range of what I need. So let's see how much this earthquake does. That did about 25%, I want to say. Looked about 25, 30%. So he, he might be bulky. He might be like max HP or something. Now he can very much just click close combat here. I don't want to go out into Ments like hard. So I feel like it might have to be Keldeo. Because I can take a hit. I can threaten him out. We can click Secret Sword again. We can like slowly chip down the Lapras. And if anything, I can just pull a double out into, like, Meowth's Karate if I really wanted to. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Keldeo. We're going to go Keldeo. I lost my Great Tusk Pivot in Yuxi, but that Lapras is just such a problem. I just didn't prep enough for it, I guess. Let's see how much uh, this does. So, he does go for the Rapid Spin. Okay, we can live a hit from this thing, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, the, the only problem now is I don't want to click a Water move and, let Kel and allow Lapras to get just back up to, like, max HP. That's the only thing I don't want. This thing is too big of a threat. I have to I have to surf. Yeah, this thing is too big of a threat. Yeah, we do live. Okay. And this surf just should be able to kill it. This thing is too big of a threat for me to just uh, to not just click the button on it. This is too scary for me not to just click the button on it. So you know what? We're doing it. Clicking surf. Killing this tusk. All right. Great tusk is dead, which is nice. That's definitely, definitely nice. And in comes this, True Hedden. We're gonna go hard Rotom. Don't wanna give this an opportunity to call mind. I will set up screens and I will uh, attempt to start to put in some amount of work. This thing might go for uh, like call mind or iron defense. Agility, okay. That's kind of what I expected, but we can go for a light screen. And I have a feeling this might be like weakness policy. So we also don't want to pop that. Yeah, he's call mind. He's gonna be, he's for sure going to be like weakness policy. He's for sure going to be like weakness policy. So I can't pop the weakness policy. Cannot pop the weakness policy on this. Shit, I don't know what to do though. I can't pop the weakness policy on this thing, but I can't continue to let it set up. Behind a light screen at plus one, how much is a draining kiss doing to Meowth Garada? 
Um, it's doing a decent chunk of damage, but I don't, I don't know if I have another play. I can't Volt for Johnny, because if it's weakness policy, I'm just going to lose the game on the spot. So I, I just kind of have to bank. They, they just go for another... Um, I just have to bank on them going for another... I have to bank on them going for another Calm Mind, I think. Yeah, they do go for another Calm Mind. Okay. Then... I don't, this triple axle, if it's physically defensive, it won't kill. But he can't be full pissed up because if he's agility, he's going to have some form of speed. So let's go for a triple axle and let's kind of hope for the best. Moonblast. That killed? Shit. Fuck, we're, we're in a tough spot now for sure. We are in a tough spot now. Yeah, that might be game, honestly. It's 100% it's going to be weakness policy. I don't think there's anything I can do. I don't think there's anything I can do. Uh, I don't think it matters all that much. I don't think it's going to matter that much. I think we're just going to get bopped by this thing. I think we just get bopped by this thing. Uh, Overheat's going to do pitiful damage. Yeah, Volt Switch is going to do jack shit. Um, I guess we're just going to go for Overheat crits. I guess we go for like overheat crits, I guess. I mean, I don't I don't know if there's anything I can do. Uh, I need a crit. Game Freak, this is the game I need a crit. You know what? I'm going for I'm getting it. I'm getting it too cuz I, I already know I am. I'm due some sort of bailout hacks. I am due some bailout hacks for sure. I had prep for this. I had Encore on Yuxi, we could have done that, but that Lapras it just it just put in too much work. I didn't prep for the Lapras. And uh, it just forced me to switch around too much. And it, it just, like, nuked so many of my things. It just nuked so many of my things. Can I get a crit overheat? Please. No. All right. I mean, I don't I don't, I don't, don't have any other play chat. Like, I'm going I'm to keep it. But uh, light screen's gone? Yeah, that's that's so over then. Light screen being gone, is it even worth setting up again? No, because everything just dies. He's Moonblast, Earth Power, Agility, Calm Mind. So, yeah, there's literally nothing on my team that can... Take it. So I just have to crit overheat. Oh, he's draining kiss. Wait, so he's not earth power? He's not earth power? He's not earth power. That that doesn't make any sense. I could have gone into treads. That doesn't make any oh my god. That's not making sense. The math isn't mathing there. The math isn't mathing on the uh, on the I have an iron treads that he just had double fairy move for. I could have gone into treads. I don't know. I don't know if it even would have mattered anyways, just because treads was. I guess I can sack Heldio and go treads. Maybe I keep Rotom around because screens. I don't think my I don't think my iron treads lives ahead from from where it is now anyway so I don't think it super matters but the fact that he doesn't have earth power is crazy yeah he's just calm winding up even more I mean there's there's nothing I can do at this point there's nothing I can do I just I just have to hope he kills me yeah just kill me I mean I can go treads next turn and I can try to get a crit iron head or something I can try to get a crit iron head we crit I mean I just need a crit chat I, I just need a crit that's all I need. Please give me a crit. Please just give me a crit. I'm just boom. It didn't kill me. Yeah, it doesn't kill me. Please give me a crit. Oh my god, special attack fell. See, the special attack was bait for you. Treads just crit him. Oh shit, that wasn't crit. And he's weakness policy. Yeah, as I expected. And that's why I didn't want to volt switch with my with my Rotom because I knew he was going to be weakness policy. So it, it is what it is. I didn't prep enough for the Lapras. That's all. That's that's what it comes down to. I didn't prep enough for the Lapras, and um, and that it cost me too many of my early game pieces. That and the fact that this game went nothing as I expected. Like the mocks did not go like this at all. Like we we I didn't see no Lapras. I didn't see an Amorous. I didn't see any of these Pokemon, and they just they just showed up here, and they just showed up, which is crazy. Now if you can miss like a Moonblast, that'd be lit. If you want to go ahead and miss Moonblast, I'll I'll appreciate that. Miss. Dang, if I was Sash meant. Could have, it could have been something. If I was Sash Mance, it could have been something. Realistically, it was never going to be anything. Uh, but yeah, we're going to lose 4-0, which definitely sucks. Um, I don't know if it guarantees puts us out of playoffs because depending on other results, we can 100% still make playoffs. But uh, it's definitely going to be a lot harder to make playoffs now. Um, but it is what it is. Um, 
Chat, prep for the low tier Terra captains, even when they have as a rude, because turns out they might still bring it anyways. Um, but I'll see you next week, chat. We still have a chance, I think. So we're, we're, we're going to keep fighting for it.